Okay, so for this lesson we're just going to have a look at um, measures of central tendency. So the first thing I want to just do a little bit of revision on is um, mean and mode. So, so if we look at mode first, mode is which record or which number has the most number of scores. So looking at this above you can see that there is uh, there's two threes and there's a one and there's a two and there's a five but there's three fours there. So in this case the mode is four and look this should just be a bit of revision from from junior maths. Now if we're looking at mean, mean another word for mean is average and hopefully you guys remember that you just have to add up all of the numbers uh, and then divided by the number of numbers that there are. So let's see if. Um, so if we look at this, if we added up three plus five plus four, four, three, uh, two, three, zero, one, four, five, that actually adds up to 31, but we then need to divide it by the number of um, records there are. 31 divided by 10 would then equal 3.1. And look, uh, a very common one that we look at is uh, average temperature. So it wouldn't be uncommon to look at the temperature for an entire month divided by the number of days in that month. And that's where you can get the average temperature um, for that particular month on, in that particular year. So again, I'm hoping that those two mode and mean um, should be, this up to now should just be revision. But let's just move it on. What happens if we've got the data presented in a different way? Now, what we've got here is, imagine these are our cinema visits for a student. Uh, there's a whole bunch of students. How many times did you go to the cinema in the last month? Um, six students didn't go at all. Seven students went once. You know, one student went four times. First thing we've got to do is add up all these numbers. So six plus seven plus four plus 3 means that we've got 20 students so we'll need that as well and then we just need to then determine what all of these scores actually add up to so six kids went zero times so we can put a zero in there seven students went once so I'm just multiplying. Four students went twice. Two students uh, went three times. And one student went four times. So I'm just writing this with my finger, so it's a little bit tricky. The thing that you need to remember here is that there's actually 20 different scores here, but we've only got five written up there on the screen. Now, if I was to do this, there were six zeros. So I'd actually, if I was to write this out in full, that's what the zeros would look like. And there are then seven ones. Four, five, six, seven. Now, actually I will keep going here. So there's four twos. I'm gonna run out of space. Maybe not. Two threes and a four. Now what I've actually done in this column here is exactly the same. I've just haven't had to write it out and we wouldn't want to write it out if there was a hundred or a thousand different entries. Now, if we then add up all of this, seven plus eight is 15, plus six plus four means that we get 25. Now, if you then add it up, all of these numbers here, it would also add up to 25. It's just that this way up here is a much quicker way of doing that. Now to work out the mean of this group here, 25 divided by 20 will equal 1.2. So the mean number of attendances at the cinema is 1.2. So it's just important if you get this um, table, what you can actually do with it. This is a very typical sort of question that would end up in a, in a paper. Cumulative frequency 
just add add this column here onto the number above 15 21 25 and again we've done that in a previous lesson now I also want to talk about the median which is the middle position now imagine that we had five numbers n is equal to five which means that we've got five and we can sort of see on here the position three is is that median position so if we have n equals five there's five numbers how can we then get to three now what you need to be careful of here is that if it's odd you go n plus 1 divided by 2 will, will tell you the position that the median is in. It doesn't mean that the median is 3, it just says that that's the position. So if we had um, 49, I'll just insert another. So let's say let's say n was equal to 49, there are 49 numbers, how would we find out the position of the middle one? Well the median would be 49 plus 1 divided by 2 which means the 25th position and then you'd need to go and look up what the actual 25th position is. Now we're going to go back to this example here, how would we work out what the median is in this particular group. Well we need to find out what position it is. So n is equal to uh, 20 and I'm going to have to jump back and explain how to do it for an even number. When is an even number? There is actually two medians and in this case it's the second and the third. Now n is equal to 4. So how do you do this? Well, you go n divided by 2 is the first position and the second n divided by 2 plus 1 and that equals second and the third. Now once you've got the second and third, you've got to add them together. So if I just do an example of that. So let's say I've got 7, 8, 12, 20. These two are the median. I need to add them together divided by 2 which gives us the average. So the median in this set of numbers is 10 despite the fact there actually isn't a 10 in the set because that's in the middle of these two. Okay now if we had n equals 50 then divided by 2 and 50 divided by 2 plus 1 are the two positions which is the 25th and the 26th positions and then you need to go work it out. So let's go back all the way to here. N is equal to 20. So what we're looking at is the 10th and the 11th position. Now, I'm going to do this in two ways. I'm going to count down the bottom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's the 10th and that's the 11th. Now we're in luck here because they're both the same. So the median is 1. How would we do it from up here? Is that we can see... actually looking at 
sorry, I made a little mistake there. Looking at this column here, we just need to work out where the 10th and 11th is. Now the first six positions are zeros, which is these six here. And then the next seven, which takes all the way up to 13, are ones, which means that we could have determined also, without writing them all out, that position 10 and 11 are ones. So we're just going to just do one final example, and I want you to look at here, it's to do with block sizes, and we've got the, one, no, the average block size. Now, what they have done is that they've got a range, 520, 540. So if you're greater than that, um, if you're greater than that, but not in, in the next one, then you, you count. As, so 530 would be in that 520 because it hasn't met the next criteria at 540. Now, when there is not an exact number, we actually have to create a midpoint. Now, you just need to look at where does this, where does this one here start? It starts at 520 and it finishes at 539.999999. Close enough to 540. So what we actually do is we would say the midpoint of this range is 530. For this one, it's 550, 570, 590, 610, 630. And although there isn't a top, we'll still call it 650 there. So you've actually got to find, where there is a range, you've actually got to find the midpoint, okay? So, but if it was an exact number, you obviously wouldn't do it that way. You'd just use the actual number like we did in the previous example. Uh, then it becomes, the, the process should be exactly the same. The exactly the same, you just need to multiply. So I'm just gonna pop these in here, 1590. 650. 650. Incidentally, N is equal to 23. So there are 23 blocks. It also said that in the question. And cumulative um, and cumulative frequency 3 8 15 18 20 22 23 that's totally different to the way I did it before because I made a mistake so let's look here let's look back here thousand apologies this should be 6 13. 17, 19, and 20. So those, that's where it goes. And actually that you'll need that for that, being able to determine where the median is anyway. So what we now have is a whole bunch of numbers that we've multiplied out. Now, this all adds up to 13 to 30 and if and if I just scroll down here and I do 13 to 30 divided by 23 we'll find out that is 575.22. If we just go back up and have a look at the question, um, the modal class, which one's got the most? Well, it's this one here. So that there would be the one that's modal class. And then we just need, if we, what is the median class here? Well, we need to have a look at 23. It's an odd number, so if we add one to it, you get 24 divided by 
divided by 2 means that the median position is in the 12th. And then we can come here to this column to determine which position is position 12. Now, the first three positions are in that 520, then next eight positions are 540. Sorry, next five positions are 540, which takes up to eight, which means that the 12th is actually going to also be in there. So the, mo um, the median class would be that 560. Okay, so from here, you need to jump to page 695, which is this one here. Move that across. Um, and work through these questions. These should be pretty straightforward, but this, these are, there are definitely going to be questions like this on the final exam, so just having an understanding. And also, if you're thinking about some of those easier leading up collection information for your assignment, this sort of stuff would be very, very valuable. So, you know, to work through this, it would not be unreasonable for you to work through this during this double lesson.